um, a need for either major rehabilitation or just complete demolition. And then um, there's been some new legislation since the last housing home was updated that we've had to consider for this update. Um, Assembly Bill 1248 um, requires us to have a more detailed site inventory to meet that regional housing need that we discussed earlier. We have to show that the county has enough sites that are going to facilitate the development of housing for lower income households. Um, and so that was just an extra piece there. Um, another new legislation had to do with um, making sure that there's no constraints to the development of housing for persons with disabilities. And we do have a program that addresses this in the housing element. Senate Bill 2 um, concerned emergency shelters, transitional housing, and supportive housing types. And uh, emergency shelters now have to be allowed by right in at least one zone in the county. Um, transitional and supportive housing types have to be treated as residential uses. So these programs that are highlighted here are programs that uh, address those needs. Senate Bill 2634. Um, now we have to look um, more closely at extremely low income households and quantify how many of them there are and what types of housing are suitable for extremely low income households. Um, SROs and different supportive housing types are the types of housing that we focus on for extremely low income households and those are the programs that address that need. Um, just briefly to go over some of the HCD comments that we received after we submitted our initial draft. Um, some more information about the land inventory, some more description of where our sites were and what the details of that were. Um, addressing more in depth the emergency shelter and transitional housing issue. Um, the more analysis on some housing, some affordable housing units that are at risk of converting to market rate and um, making sure that the farm worker housing in the county is at the these standards are in uh, compliance with the Employee Housing Act of the Health and Safety Code. So um, these are some of the programs that we put into the housing element that require the county to um, have action over the next year and a half or so. Most of these have a timeline of accomplishment by August of 2009. Um, as you can see here, program 118 addresses that Employee Housing Act information for a farm worker house. Um, program 119 um, has to do with parking requirements for second units as to, um, to mitigate potential constraints for the development of second units. Uh, program 225 um, has to do with allowing mixed use, residential and commercial mixed use development. Um, the county is already working on language for this. Um, program 314 addresses the need for transitional housing to be permitted as a residential use. Um, emergency shelters are going to be permitted in C2 and M1, and there is capacity for that. There's lots of C2 and M1 land available, which is part of the requirement of the new legislation. Program 317 addresses the supportive housing needs, which have to do with ensuring that um, the counties allow um, defining group homes of six or, six or less persons or six or more persons and a definition of family that allows unrelated adults. Um, program 318 talks about SROs and the explicitly allowing them in the zoning code or explicitly defining them in the zoning code and allowing them by right in some zones. Um, the, the county already has an owner-occupied rehab program, which that housing conditions are being performed will provide information to support funding applications to keep um, the fund, to keep funds coming in for the owner-occupied rehab program, but we also have a program in there that says we're going to look at the feasibility of a renter-occupied rehab program. Um, and then uh, and we have plans to, um, for future arena purposes, meeting, uh, getting together with property owners when the urban area plans are updated to look at what what land could potentially be rezoned if needed in the future for, for uh, meeting in the next planning period. Here's some other program topics um, that don't require any uh, specific action and any specific timeline and are ongoing. Um, just ensuring appropriate zoning for meeting with high density housing for lower income households, um, continuing to seek federal and state funds, uh, continuing the owner-occupied program, rehab program, um, 
throughout the room building codes to ensure consistency with state codes. And um, <coughs> so the schedule has been, we had a public scoping in March, and then we started it shortly after to the state. We got our comments back about 60 days later. We've been dealing with those the last month or so. And uh, we're here today to have the review and hopefully approve or recommend the approval um, for the board's request, which we are going to present to you in July 8th. And then after that, we will be submitting the adopted version to State HDD for certification. And I'll take any questions. Yeah. <coughs> This is a public hearing, so if we have any comments or questions for the public, speak up now. <clears throat> if not, is there any other questions? Commissioner, Mr. Uniger? No, Mr. Chairman, we'd like to get your recommendation to the board to approve this. Uh, as uh, she indicated, the housing element uh, by state statute requires to be updated uh, and certified, and it's always somewhat of a difficult process. Uh, we started on this a while back, uh, and then we were told by SCAC to hold off because of the arena numbers and some other things. And ultimately what that led to is that we had to put a lot of pressure on PMC to get this done in a timely way, and I'd like to thank them for uh, working with them and getting this thing done in a very short order of time to meet our deadlines. And unless you have specific questions, we'd like to get your approval to go forward and send it back to the state and see if we get any more letters back. I make a motion to recommend approval of uh, housing, uh, the general plan housing element amendment 0002 uh, as recommended. Second. Okay. We have a motion for approval and second. Call roll, please. Chapter? Yes. Colton? Yes. Ramana? Yes. Corey? Yes. Niver? Yes. Nevada? Daddy? Yes. Kenyon? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, this is, a, this is a legislative action which has to go to the Board of Supervisors, so there's really no appeal on this. This will be scheduled for the Board of Supervisors as indicated I think for July 8th, and we'll be presenting this to the Board, hopefully get their approval and get it adopted and be back in compliance with the state. I uh, do want to note the housing element does also have a hammer. If you don't have one that's certified uh, by the state of California, they can actually withhold funding for just about everything you want to get. So it's they're very serious about it. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.